In the July release of Fusion 360, we introduced a public preview of a brand new tool in the design workspace, automated modeling. Automated modeling introduces a completely new way to create geometry powered by the technology and concepts in generative design. As you explore this brand new design tool, we wanted to provide some best practices for getting started. In this video, we'll be taking a look at surfaces to connect. Automated modeling starts by asking you to select geometry, specifically faces, that you want to connect. It will then automatically create multiple design alternatives for a new body or component which connects them together. This choice of face is really important. And before using automated modeling, it can often be a great idea to do some small preparation on the bodies you want to connect to ensure you have a face exactly where you want it. In this case, we want to create a rocker arm for this bike frame. We already have some bodies modeled which represent bolted connections that we want to connect to. Here, tools like split face can be really valuable to create specific regions for the geometry to connect to, rather than connecting across the whole length of the surface. This lets us better specify exactly where we want the connection to be made and lets us add additional design intent to the outcome. When thinking about faces to connect, another useful tip is to consider the size and number of faces you're selecting. While there's no hard limit to the number of faces you can select, in general, Wherever possible, the model should be simplified so that we are only using as few faces as are needed. Likewise, faces which are very small relative to the size of the shape being created can lead to non-optimal outcomes, and adding more faces than necessary can have a significant impact on the speed with which outcomes are generated.